Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on Superman and Lois Season 3. So, we have Superman and Lois coming back this coming week, you know, in the next handful of days, after a week off from an episode. And though I don't know if there are any more breaks for this season, I mean, there probably are, we do know one thing, and that is that Lex Luthor will be coming our way very, very, very soon. Now, we don't have an exact episode in which he is coming back. From what I know, that hasn't been revealed as of yet, but it would be a safe to assume that it's over the next two or three episodes, roughly. As I said, starting this week with episode six being the first of those two or three episodes. But my bet would be somewhere across maybe like episode seven or eight, as that appeared to be the time that Michael Cudlitz, who was cast as Lex Luthor, was publicly announced and appeared to be, you know, start filming on the show. But in this video, we're going to go over the Lex Luthor reveal trail that was just unveiled probably yesterday from when you're seeing this video, but maybe today. I don't know if I'm going to upload it, but something like that. And also we're going to go over some other promo material for the potential episode that Lex Luthor could be first showing up in, which in itself has a DC TV comeback and reunion that I didn't expect to ever see, which is sort of weird. And also has a reveal or two that the show hasn't revealed yet, but we will get into that after watching and going over the trailer. But yeah, before we go over the trailer, let's watch it. Looking for a trim fish. I cut my own hair. Luther's been in prison for almost two decades, stewing over how to get even. If he's released, I'll deal with it. It's not if, it's when. Gather my things. I'm a free man. I'm a free man. But yeah, throughout the video, after that, let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts on that. Are you excited? Does that get you excited and hyped and pumped up for Lex Luthor played by Michael Cudlitz coming into the show? And uh, any theories and uh, anything you, th you think I might have missed, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, you're going to enjoy the video. And you're excited, drop a like on the video, it takes two seconds. So in regards to this trailer, obviously there's not much. It actually goes for like longer than a standard episode promo, but it just sort of is like building up the hype and excitement for Lex Luthor coming onto the show. But it doesn't reveal too much, but it doesn't reveal nothing. It actually reveals a handful of things that are worth discussing. So the first thing is that he's almost been in prison for two decades, which explains... Obviously, his absence from the show as, you know, so far, but it also means that, like, he's been gone for, like, he must have gone into into prison, like, very early, I would say, into Superman's career. Like, Superman must have taken him down and he went to prison, like, what, in the first, like, four, maybe five years of Superman's time? It sounds like it, if I'm thinking of, like, the, the timeline of how long Superman's been there, you know, when he first met Lois and then when they had kids... I mean, it mustn't have been, I don't know, I, I don't know, did they ever say how long specifically Superman or how long Clark or Kalo was Superman before Lois and him had the kids? Because they're about, like, 15, 16. So that's probably about around the time that, you know, like, what, Lex might have gone to prison, like, a year or two before that. So, yeah, I mean, like, he must have gone, you know, Lex, like, Lex has been in prison by the sounds of it for more time than he's been out of it during Superman's you know, presence. So that's pretty interesting. But he is in Striker's prison, which is not too surprising considering Metropolis and Superman. But Lois is assuming that he has been like just being, you know, being in prison and just stewing over how to get even. But here's the question. They don't say it in the trailer, but here's the big question. To get even with who? Like, who's he getting even with? Is it Superman? Is it Lois? Is it both of them? Or is it some other people as well? That's going to be the very interesting thing, uh, when this uh, character of Lex Luthor starts to appear and, you know, more importantly, gets out of prison and starts planning certain things. And also, we don't know, like, Luthor Corp or Luthor Corp, might I say, and, like, its presence and how much money Le uh, Lex has now that it completely fold or someone else in charge of it. That's going to be very interesting to see, um, you know, when he gets out and any other connections that he had prior to prison, does he reconnect with them and try to gain more power instantly? So... That's going to be very, very intriguing. Now, in regards to some history and backstory, there isn't too much outside of obviously the two decades or almost two decades in prison, but we can see behind Clark here some older newspaper articles from the Daily Planet around Lex Luthor roughly. Though there is one that says rumble in the slums, and I think that might not have anything to do with Lex specifically, like he's the cause of it, and maybe something more about Superman that plays into what they're investigating, I'm not too sure. But then we do see Lex Luthor confesses to Moxie murder, which was already revealed, what, a couple of episodes ago by Bruno Mannheim? I think it was when Bruno was talking to John Henry, when Bruno mentioned Lex 
killing Moxie, who was of course the former head of Intergang, who in the comics is also Bruno's father, but that doesn't appear to be the case on the show. With the other newspaper behind Clark, I think it says it's blocked off by Clark, but I'm assuming it says like Metropolis Braces for Luther Ruling. That's what I'm assuming it says. Though it is hard to tell what is newer or older. Is this a current newspaper or is this one from like almost 20 years ago? Like, what is it? Is that the ruling about him getting out of prison earlier? Or is it about the actual killing of Boss Moxie or even another, you know, crime that Luther was being investigated for? I'm not too sure. But I do wonder if it's possible if someone else is seen as the killer of Boss Moxie in the present day. And that's why Luther is released. Because surely for like something like that, they'll just give Luther life in prison, you'd think. But then again, I don't know how the DC universe American laws uh, and Metropolis laws play out. So I'm not too sure that maybe someone they just like in the present day right now, they go, oh no, actually this Gumball Joe was the one that actually killed him. And that's why Lex gets out. I'm not too sure. It's hard to tell exactly. Obviously they don't reveal too much in this trailer. Now we do get to see Lex shaving his head or at least during the process of it. It seems like everyone in prison is just shaving their head. I'm not too sure if there's a specific reason for it. But uh, he decides to, uh, no, uh, I shave my own head. And obviously the promo picture that we got, what, I think it was before episode one aired for this season. So about two months ago was like just after he'd shaved his head in this scene. Because you could see like the flickers of hair on his shoulders and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it looks like Michael Cudlitz legitimately shaves his head for this role. Which uh, people thought he wore a bald cap. But it looks like he legitimately shaved his head for it, which is a uh, commitment. But one question I have, and I'm very interested to see what people think of this. Do you think that Lex knows that Superman is Clark Kent? Do you think he knows that? I, I I have a feeling he might, but at the same time, I think he won't. I think they could keep that mystery there. But that could be something that's of interest that maybe Lex does know that. And he's known that for before he went to prison. And it's something that he's kept while in prison. He could have been there in, in prison thinking he was never going to get out. He was like, no, I, I, like he's in there for life. He's never going to get out. And this is a very, like a stroke of luck that he's getting out at this point, um, you know, almost 20 years after originally going in there. But it would be something of interest and almost like a grudge thing for Lex that he wouldn't give anyone that else the pleasure of knowing that Superman, of who Superman truly is, and that they could go and do something and that he's the one that's held onto that secret, that he knows Superman is Clark Kent. That would be an interesting thing. And I, work, I actually wouldn't mind saying that. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's it for the trailer, but we will next go over the synopsis for episode eight for this season, which is otherwise entitled, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? And uh, yeah, let's read it out. In the wake of learning that Bruno and Paya are married, Clark works to reignite Lois's interest in taking Bruno down. Elsewhere, Natalie meets Mateo's parents for the first time with disastrous consequences. Meanwhile, the Kent boys clash when Jordan interferes with Jonathan's training at the fire ha- uh, firehouse, Lana bonds with General Lane over their shared fear of dating again, and Sarah realizes her mum needs a friend. So obviously, like the pretty much the second half of that synopsis isn't really worth talking about, that, but that first half has some uh, intriguing things. Now, the first thing I do want to say, nothing to actually do with the synopsis and words we see there, but this episode was written by Aaron Helbing, the brother of showrunner Todd. Now, you might be like, okay, well, Paige, what does that mean? Like, who cares? But this is, like, interesting because he was a co-showrunner back during the Flash season three. Him and his brother Todd were co-showrunners before Aaron left after season three. And I think this is his first DC TV thing since then. So, when I saw his name on the synopsis, I was like, Oh my God, what, what the hell? That's so random, him coming back and doing this. But yeah, so seven, like over half a decade after he left The Flash and just DC TV as a whole, he's back for an episode of Superman and Lois writing it. So that's pretty surprising. But yeah, bit of a fun fact there. But for the first thing from the synopsis, Bruno and Paya are married. But you might be wondering, well, who is Paya now? The actress's name was attached to this synopsis. And I did... You know, I couldn't help myself. I went, mm, copy, open, uh, open these words in a Google search in the, ne- in the next tab. So I saw the face. I know who she is. Um, I'm not going to say now. I'm not going to put it on the screen. You might be able to just connect the dots based off other things I've already read. Um, but I'm not going to do go. I won't go past this point and reveal who it is because we can watch. And it, it, the thing is, in like the next episode or two, we could. They might say it. So there's no point really spoiling it now. 
But it is a theory I've seen some people saying that this would be the case. So we'll, we'll say that and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens on the actual show and how it's uh, unveiled. But of course, as it does say, upon learning this, Clark wants to reignite Lois's interest in taking down Bruno, which I guess would probably mean that maybe that that is, like there is something that is going on with Paya that's associated with something bad that Bruno has done or currently doing. I guess we'll have to w- wait and see, I guess. Um, because the thing is, we know Bruno's up to no good, But he's also just messing with people that already aren't good, if that makes sense. Like the experiments he's doing, like they're already criminals that he's like doing these experiments on. It's when he starts to affect the the average person in a negative way where I think the perception of him on the show completely changes. And I'm very intrigued to see when that happens. And this might be one of those turning points, if not... Maybe the episode before this one, there's a turning point, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, we do have Natalie meeting Mateo's parents for the first time. However, it's with disastrous consequences. Now, there is still a debate on whether Mateo is just some random mislead of a character or he actually is the son of someone important like Bruno Mannheim or Dr. Rines or anything like that. But the fact it says disastrous consequences, I mean, is that over the top saying disastrous or are they legitimately like not very good what happens? I mean, you'd have to think that they aren't just random people if that's the case and they are someone of note like Bruno or maybe Dr. Irons. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to tell exactly where it's going because I don't want to put too much hope into that, if that makes sense, or too much thought. It's like, oh, this is like such an important thing and it's, it's nothing. But at the same time, you can't just sit here and go, it, it isn't nothing because the material is such a random character just have show up and go to Smallville all of a sudden. It's something sus is up there. So you'd have to think something plays into that. It's just a more, it's just a matter of what it is exactly and when it's revealed. So we'll wait and see. Now, the last thing to talk about is, is this episode eight, this eighth episode, is it the Lex, uh, Lex Luthor debut episode? Now, when I first saw the title before the synopsis, so when the title came out about what, three or four weeks ago, roughly, I thought that's what the title could be referring to. You know, Lex Luthor showing up, you know, guess who's coming to dinner? Knock, knock. Oh, it's Lex Luthor. I brought some, you know, French fries. But then this synopsis talks about Natalie meeting Mateo's parents And that sort of lands into the reference in the title to the movie of the same name. But then I was like, well, that seems like a subplot, not anything major. So why would it be the basis for the episode title? But then I thought, well, what if the parents of Mateo are someone like Bruno and Payo? And then that makes sense why it would occupy the title. But regardless, you would think by this point, Lex would be on the show anyway. You'd have to think at least, especially with this trailer coming out. They've released this trailer. So you think at least within the next two or three episodes, Lex Luthor shows up. So it just matters where and when that first appearance happens. But the fact that that trailer has been released leading up to the um, the return after after this break, I mean, it'd be, it'd be a bit weird if we're waiting like another month for Lex to show up. You could have released this trailer in like two or three weeks. Why release it now? So you'd have to think Lex Luthor's appearance is sooner rather than later. So we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various thoughts and opinions, any theories and predictions based on this video. Always curious to read them. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.